What is the founder's story? What is the company's philosophy? How is it run, managed? Big question. I'm the founder, Dr. Andrew Gomes, radiologist. What's the story? So when I was finishing my residency training in Northern Louisiana, at the time, diagnostic radiology was um, really hot, so to speak. I could have gotten a job right out of residency and earned really high, high pay, and um, I would have been quite comfortable. I deliberately decided not to do that because I'd noticed other colleagues of mine who had graduated a year, two, three prior, they were sort of stagnant. Yes, they were working and they were doing diagnostic radiology and they were you know, contributing to the healthcare system, but they had stopped their learning. I didn't want that to happen. I wanted to keep learning. I, I felt there was still a lot to learn. I learned how to practice diagnostic radiology, do interpretive imaging, and you know some non-vascular procedures, great. But I felt there was a lot more to learn. So I didn't want to stagnate and sort of become quote unquote fat and happy. This is another video I did on that, that sort of term, stay fat and happy. So I said, no, you know, I, I, I want to learn more. So I went and I got a bunch of state licenses. I did some moonlighting during training. I'd saved up money. Otherwise I was a starving resident like most residents, but I'd saved up some money from my moonlighting and I got a lot of state licenses. So after training, I spent the next three years traveling hub to hub, working in different environments. I remember I deliberately didn't want to stay in one place a long time, right? A rolling stone ga gathers no moss sort of thing. I wanted to keep moving and go to new environments. That was incredibly stressful. I was living out of my suitcase, hub to hub, like George Clooney and up in the air. And uh, every place I went was new, new passwords, new system, new people, new, new clinical challenges. A new administration, but every one, in retrospect, was an incredibly valuable learning experience. That's where I cut my teeth. I started learning about billing, about procedures, about clinical protocols, about the business of healthcare, the financials, the compliance. Three years after I'd been out of training and done that, I started a small radiology group, diagnostic radiology group, serving uh, hospitals. And you take over the hospital's radiology contract, you employ the radiologist, improve the processes, and build the professional fees. That was okay, I did that for a few years. Uh, I learned a lot more there. The learning continued. I learned the business side, contracts, billing, etc., cetera, um, operations. However, there I was limited. I knew, you know, hospitals are big and powerful, but they're like battleships. They're big and powerful, but they're very slow to change direction. And I realized that I'm an innovator, I'm a fiddler, I want to change and improve things. I saw things in healthcare, I said, this can be done better for sure, it can be done faster. The quality will be better and it'll be lower cost. Let's make these changes. Difficult to do in the hospital setting. Some of you are watching this, physicians, procedurists who worked in the hospital setting, traditional group settings, this might resonate with you. Trying to make changes to improve, sometimes you're met with resistance. Worse, sometimes you're called a boat rocker and told to sort of sit down and don't say anything. That's the experience I had. So after a few years of doing this, I realized, well, I made some improvements. You know, it was okay, but I wasn't really able to innovate, to disrupt. So then I realized, if I really want to do that, if I really want to throw the old rules out the window and do it a new way, a fresh and innovative way, really practice healthcare better, faster, and at lower cost, I have to go it alone. That's when I, uh, you know, Apple hit me on my head, and I decided to. Uh, you know, my Newtonian moment, decided to found PAD specialists. I wanted to focus on something private sector, outpatient, unaffiliated with the hospital, so we won't be encumbered by restrictions and sort of bureaucracies that are at the hospital. So it had to be outpatient, private sector. I knew it had to be procedure-based because I saw the results from that in my days in radiology, that we could make immediate improvements for patients. I knew we had to treat something that's very common, that's a veritable tsunami of disease coming. PAD fit the bill. So I put all of these factors together, they sort of converged as I, as I thought about all these insights and it gave birth to what is now PAD specialists. I'm very grateful to say one facility is now 12, there's more coming. You know, 10 employees to start, we have over 200 team members now. Uh, we, you know, at the time, we, for the six weeks, we didn't get a single referral, didn't do a single case. Now we do umpteen cases every single day. Every one of those cases, it's a patient that we've helped and I'm very proud. And, and grateful for that opportunity. So 
And it wasn't perfect. When we first launched that first facility, was it perfect out of the gate? Couldn't be further from the truth. We made tons of mistakes. I made tons of mistakes. But I and our team did not stand on ceremony. We realized what we thought was wrong. We need to redirect and do it right. And we learned a lot of lessons that we applied across the organization and we binderized into a sort of blueprint. And the second facility we launched, was that one perfect? No, it was better than the first because we learned those some lessons, but we still made a ton of mistakes. So now 12 facilities later, we've had 12 successive iterations to make errors, make mistakes, frankly speaking, and learn from them and apply those lessons to make every subsequent iteration better. So now projects that we launch these days sort of stand on the shoulders of giants from prior projects. So it's been a, a up and down roller coaster journey, exhilaration, disappointment, hard work, hard nights, weekends, uh, holidays, that continues. But I'm very proud of what we've done. I'm, I'm so grateful to our team members, over 200, to our referring physicians who trusted us with their patients, to our physician partners who've contributed, and of course to our patients who've given us an opportunity to participate in their care and improve their lives. That's my founding story. I, I love what I do. I love that we can affect so many patients' lives in a positive way. I love that we can participate in lowering the cost of healthcare, which is the name of the game, the challenge that we should all rally around, our clarion call, if you will. So that's the story. The story hasn't ended. Yeah, hopefully the story's just beginning. There's a lot of PAD out there. Unfortunately, more is coming as diabetes increases in the country. We need ways to find that PAD early, treat it in a safe and effective manner and at low cost. We think that's what we do. We think that's what we're poised to do. That's why we'd like to expand as much as possible, help as many patients as possible. Hopefully you'll participate with us in that journey.